a chance to sit down and, and chat with a, an idol, a childhood idol, Jim, and, uh, you know, we do have something in common. Dunville, Ontario, you were born and raised, I was born and raised, but where you moved on into the professional ranks, go back to your childhood in Dunville and tell us a little bit about how hockey played an important role from where you were from. We used to go out in the fields and play ball, and then winter came, we uh, played hockey on the road until the ice froze, and then we played hockey. And, and I got very interested in hockey. Uh, one thing that was a little wrong with me, I thought I could be a hockey player. <laughs> but that, that so turned this, out wrong. So, oh, but the story's <laughs> worthy. You had some pretty good hands, Jim. It was just those... Uh... My feet weren't working, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you jump into the, uh, the hockey scene just really full bore back in the 60s. Uh, tell us a little bit about those, the things that you did and those influences that uh, allowed you to stay in the game even today. Well, I uh, went to St. Mike's and I found out quickly that I had some uh, deterrence that were going to prevent me from being a hockey player, but Father Dave Bauer encouraged me to keep uh, going and through Father Bauer I met uh, hundreds of uh, hockey people. Uh, Father Bauer introduced me to uh, Stafford Smythe who uh, out of the blue offered me a job uh, with the Maple Leafs and I left my job and went to work uh, as the second person behind Bob Davidson in the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey office and from there I got involved with the juniors and I started coaching. I was a coaching manager of the St. Mike's team and the coaching manager of the Marlboros and I had uh, a stint of coaching Vancouver Canucks in the Western Hockey League and then I came back to Toronto in 1969 I was named the manager of the Maple Leafs. It's uh, certainly an exciting and unbelievable thing for me. You, uh, you're also on the Hall of Fame as a builder and yes. being part of that game can you describe what that meant to you being in Hockey's Hall of Fame? Well, it was unbelievable, and one of the credits in that the review for the Hall of Fame was that I helped start the Central Scouting Department, which is a big benefit to all the teams in the NHL, and I know that uh, you'll understand this, Billy, that sometimes the Hall of Fame makes a mistake. <laughs> I know better than that. There's no question. <laughs> Listen, you're Senior Vice President of Hockey Operations. you got the greatest job in the world, Jim. You go at it, and it's awards and what else? One of the things I tell people I do is funerals and trophies. So I have a lot of fun. Uh, most of the time, the funeral part of it's no fun, but the, to have a opportunity to experience what I have in the last 50 years is just something special. Well, you've been special to uh, a lot of people, myself included, to be able to get into the game, be part of the game. But this, being part of you and I on a set together, that means everything in the world, my friend. Thank you very much. Very important to me, too, Billy. Thanks, Jim. Thank you. You bet.